Welcome and hello. Welcome to the Go Plan video library that includes Greenleaf Financial Fitness Series and other financial professional series involved with personal financial wellness. This series, along with other videos, will be posted on our Go Plan and YouTube channel, websites, and other social media outlets. My name is Jim Hiles, and as your host, I think it's important to highlight what financial wellness is and how tools like Go Plan 101 can help Americans achieve their goals and wishes. So what is financial wellness? It is defined as the overall financial health of an individual. What it does for you is probably most important. It helps you increase understanding all things related to money. It can also help decrease stress, help you make better decisions, and perhaps most importantly, keep you on track as things change in the future. What's Go Plan 101? Well, Go Plan 101 combines web technology and educational content with behavioral change solutions, free software, and a huge resource center full of focused responses. Translation? <laughs> Simple. Go Plan 101 is a cool site that helps people deal with their money issues so they can do what they want to do. And you also have the capability on our site to talk to a coach or go right to the resource. At the end of the day, financial wellness is only as good as the actions taken. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Good afternoon and welcome to the Greenleaf Financial Fitness Series powered by Caparo Greenleaf and First Capital Advisors Group. Today's webinar is Financial Planning 201. We're gonna build a little bit on last month's Financial Planning 101, but don't worry if you, if you missed that one or forgot a lot, um, we'll get you caught up quickly. Do not adjust your screens. We have a green uh, theme going today. I don't know if that's uh, St. Patrick's Day or someone likes minions, but that's the new color. Uh, just some quick introductions to the people who make these webinars possible. We have uh, Jamie Greenleaf. Jamie is a partner and advisor with Cafaro Greenleaf. Jim Hiles here with me today. Jim is a senior partner with First Capital Advisors Group and Greenleaf Financial. And uh, I'm Jim D. I'm a financial advisor with Greenleaf Financial. So let's start with a slide we've seen before and uh, what we see as the three distinct phases of financial planning. Most of us go through life and it looks something like this. In your younger working years, there's a big focus on wealth accumulation. This is where we're focusing on growing our assets or our wealth, retirement plans and whatnot. Then there usually comes a time when we may no longer be able to accumulate wealth, usually retirement and we enter into the wealth distribution phase. This is where we need to, to turn assets into income for living expenses primarily. And uh, then once we have all of that figured out, we turn to legacy goals, how to transfer, uh, transfer and preserve our wealth for the next generation. We also thought it would be a good idea to take a step back here and just review some of the goals and the benefits when it comes to a good financial plan. We see some of the things here that we often hear from our clients. We hear how people want to get organized, have more clarity with their finances, and, and people want to save and invest more, and finally get on a budget. On the right-hand side is, are some of the things that we, the benefits that we hear people talk about, um, the feelings they have once they have a plan. Now, people feel good when they have a, an increased understanding, they have decreased stress, and more, they feel more in control with their finances. So these are primarily the rewards, um, kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to financial planning. So let's quickly get back to where we were last month. And first we wanted to point out that we have a, a new updated website. Uh, very excited about that, right, Jim? Uh, GFplan.com now looks like um, what we see here on the screen. So we wanted to make sure we, everyone saw that so it doesn't look strange if you've been on there before. And, and show everyone how to navigate through so you can go and get your personal financial wellness website set up uh, because that's what we're offering here. So go to gfplan.com and click up at the top where you see individual financial wellness. That'll take us to this screen. When, when you do, you'll see uh, this, this, a, a set of options. What we want you to do is click on the top one, start your financial plan. After that, you're going to get just a, a, a couple of simple, basic questions, your age and income. So enter those, move on. And on the next page, you're going to see, you're, you're going to pick 
one of the two goals that you see there, retirement or savings. We clicked retirement. And now after you answer some very basic questions, you can see on the right hand side there how much of your goal is funded. Now you can play with these numbers uh, and obviously they're, they're, you can move them up, move them down and see that, how that affects your, your results that you get here. But to get into what we're going to show you next, uh, click next step at the bottom below that after you're done looking at that because there's, there's much more to see. Here you enter your name, your email address, your phone number, check the privacy policy box and submit your request. You'll, you'll get a confirmation that your request was submitted. And when we get, you, you'll then be sent an email with a unique link to set up your own personal financial wellness website. So take a look at this. Uh, we have a, a, what it looks like. So this is what your email will look like. So when you click register now, again, that's a, a, a link unique to you and will allow you to log in to our financial planning software which we're going to walk through in a couple of minutes here. So um, you'll see a screen that tells you, it says, uh, let's get started. And from there, you're going to click, let's get started, and you're off. Um, now, Jim Hiles is going to walk us through some of the, the, what we can do with this financial planning software. And he's going to go through some of the things that we see up here. Uh, Jim, you were actually in, involved with uh, basically the creation of eMoney back in the beginning, right? Back before financial planning software even existed, I think you and Jeff at First Capital were, were involved in its creation somewhat, right? It wasn't before like air conditioning or anything. They were chiseling financial plans <laughs> was, on stone tablets. It was it was really just a common sense, you know, we have computers, we used to do this on spreadsheets and, and uh, the idea was, okay, we just need basic calculators that could talk to one another and, and, and Jeff Schulte, who's our partner here, got together and put together something called eMoney, which is a software program. If you go type it up, you can see it on Google. It's actually owned by Fidelity today. A lot of what goes on in financial planning is kind of based on technology. So eMoney is a equivalent to, uh, we think equivalent, maybe even better than things like Mint or some of the other software programs that are available out there on the web. And it's free to you guys, so take advantage of it. Right, which is what our offer is here. So. Um, why don't we get into, um, why don't you, Jim, you, you take us into the live site. That's what our goal was here. And we're going to talk about things like, you know, show you how to get organized to start off when you get into this uh, live website, how to pull up your own personal balance sheet, cash flow report. Um, can you see your retirement? You know, when, if you get in and you put your retirement numbers in there, does it work? Can you see it happening? You know, help you see whether you're saving enough for your kid's college. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, how much life insurance do I need? Is my, is my family protected? Uh, and how do I start investing if that's something I want to do right out of the gate? And, you know, are my investments properly allocated? There's, there's that and there's a whole much more. And there's more coming to the website as well. So keep checking back on GF Plan. Not everything on there is live, but that's uh, a work in progress. This that we're showing you today is live and we wanted to make sure that you saw it and we're ready to use it. Well, sure. So what... So again, when you come into the go through that sign up process that Jim just described, uh, this is a little bit of a, a software lesson today just to get in the tool. But you're essentially going to go in here and you, it'll say, let's get started. And if you if you get this page, you can skip right to your home page if you've already done it. Or if you haven't gone through the setup, this is just an easy walkthrough of how to get started with people. So it's um, it's going to ask you things like what's on your mind? What do you what are you trying to achieve here? What, and you can click on these boxes to get some sort of idea as to what's a priority for you or what's important to you. You could click them all or, or click one or two and then just decide what to, uh, to do with those because there are going to be plans that you're going to want to set up around each one of them. Uh, when you go forward, you try to prioritize, which which is now more important to you in terms of uh, we often have many financial goals we're trying to do at the same time. So you get to prioritize them. And you can drag those up and down, right? Right. Uh, what keeps you up at night? So these are the, the, this is sort of the half full, glass half empty side. Uh, but these are concerns that basically tell us a little bit of, and tell yourself, you know, what to start to plan for. Uh, then a little bit about yourself information wise. You're basically starting to get organized here by putting your priorities out there, you know, relationships that you have, who the people are. Um, and then going into the family, in this case, we're going to talk about the sample family. 
uh, where they have the three kids and their family, and you load that information in there. So now you know who the players are. Now you talk about what they do, so you can put in your information about you know work and different types of jobs or income salaries, things like that. Maybe you're at retirement age, a good place to start. If you don't know, use 65 to start. And then complete more of the employer information. Again, what you're doing here is you're putting in data hopefully once and you're populating a budget. You're populating a financial statement that eventually is going to come out the other side. What are the goals for retirement? Do you just want to retire as early as possible? Do you want to move? Do you want to do part-time? Do you want to travel? So you can add different retirement goals specific to retirement. And then are there any future expenditures you want to do or expenses you may have? Funding and education, buying a car, wedding, elder care. So you have all these different things that you can put in here in terms of goal prioritization. All of this is really meant to jog your, your mind in terms of what you need to start thinking about when it comes to planning. Then you want to start putting in the things you have to play with, the assets, so to speak, real estate, personal property, businesses, things like that. You basically click your way through it and you get to the relationships. Maybe it's a good idea to put your relationships in here. If you don't have any relationships, that's fine too. Just click through it. And then you're kind of at the end of the setup and you go into the website itself. Now, this is your secure personal website. No one else can see it. You have the login. And from a, from a relationship standpoint, you're going to start putting your information in here. The old-fashioned way was we do this by hand or do it on a spreadsheet and you have to go back and fix it all the time. Once you've got the data in here, it'll be here for you to come into, you know, next time to, to fix or to create or add to and so on. So basically what you do is, you know, if you say you want to add an account. You say, okay, I'll add an account. You find out of the account on the home screen. And the way this can work for you if you want to do it this way is if you already have an online access to, you know, pick a bank, Wells Fargo or something like that, you can click on this top button and actually it can feed the data right over here. You can, once you log in once, you direct the, uh, the bank to send the information to this. It's not transactionable. It's simply information. But it, it, for, it allows us to create one place to look at everything, which is really important when you do planning. If you don't have online, that's fine. You just basically fill in what kind of uh, investment it is. Let's just say this is a taxable investment account. There are a bunch of different choices there. Don't get overwhelmed. But if you know what it is, then go ahead and select what it is. So let's just say that uh, we have a $15,000 account, that we $150,000 account that we set up at one point, and it's an investment account, and you just load it in there, and that simply adds the account. So this is all information you put in here. It's an added to your net worth. It adds to your investment portfolio. It's all in one place. When you start thinking about, okay, what can I do with this, uh, the organizer tab basically allows you to look at the information in terms of goals and priorities. One of the other things you'll find in here is risk tolerance. On our site, we have a risk tolerance questionnaire. Here's another one. These help you determine what kind of portfolio of investments that might be suitable for your risk tolerance. In other words, if you're conservative and you take a test and it says you're conservative, being 100% risky stuff doesn't make a lot of sense. That's probably what it's going to help us do. If you haven't gone through it, go through that exercise. So this is basically all set up. It's organization. Your information is here. You can go in and you can put your specific mortgage information. You can put your specific income. And I get a lot of questions about, hey, do you, can you send me a budget form? Well, once you can do a budget, then you know a budget is a budget is a budget. It's just a matter how you want to input it. So here in this particular client, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to add living expenses. You could say, you know, it's basically... You know, $5,000 a month, Jim, that's close enough for us. Fine. Right. That's, Some people want it all itemized. Yeah. Right? So you can do it that way, too. Right. You so want to actually create a budget. If you want to do the, the real budget, you just open up itemize in here, and you say, yeah, I want to do that. And you can, I mean, you could, there are a gazillion inputs you could just do with this drop down as to identifying what those are. So you just go ahead and build out what you think the, the actual or estimated costs are for each one of these, and then you're going to come out at the end with a, a, a fairly good monthly budget of what you're actually spending money on on a monthly or annual basis. So that's important to do, and once it's in there, it's always there for you. You can come in and change it at any time. So a lot of this is organization. A lot of the secret of financial planning is having the right information in front of you. 
And this tool basically allows you to do just that. And as you go through time, you can make adjustments, additions, subtractions to it. Good. Let's go to the workshop. All right. So the workshop is where you play. As you can imagine, the workshop is where we build stuff. So that's the term, the financial workshop. And there are a number of different things that are already sort of loaded in here for you to do. Uh, and these, these little uh, widgets or, or blocks down here are what you might click on if you're looking at one of these things like, which one do you want to do? Let's do, let's take a look at, am I saving enough for retirement? Okay, so retirement. We get this question quite a bit and it's taking the information which you've already put in there and kind of doing the what if planning game and see whether or not you can retire with what you have and perhaps more importantly, what it takes to retire. So if you just take a look at this screen as what it's saying, it says based on all the information that you put in, in this case, the samples, and their retirement age is being at 65, for example, they have determined based on their budget that they need $75,000 a year at retirement in future money, 75,000 bucks a year to have a successful retirement. Their savings, you can see, is $141,000. That's what they've saved so far. They're contributing to something, a savings plan, a 401k, something like that, $1,100 a month. And right now, we are seeing that when you look over here on this little thing, oh, one more thing to throw in here. We have to make some assumptions about what inflation is on what you're spending. Your expenses, your cup of coffee goes up is with inflation, so to speak. Right now, we're using a 2.58% inflation rate, and here a five and a quarter uh, investment rate. That's what we're assuming the investments are growing at. Now, those are all adjustable, right? Everything can... that's in blue here, for example, is adjustable to Jim's point. If you think inflation is gonna be higher, you slide it this way, and uh, it'll run it. You see, this is now changing. If you think you can invest at a higher rate, then again, it'll do that, and it'll adjust it again. So these are the, what if scenarios you can play when you're doing these types of plans? And because we took the risk profile, the, the recommended portfolio does not have a return to what you were sliding into. Did you see that when that popped up? Right. So we should point that out. You can't just say, well, I'm going to make 12% for the next 20 years and yeah. hit my goal. Right. Yeah. You can, but it's going to tell you that that's unlikely. Yeah. I think what, it, what it's going to tell you is once you set those in there, you can go play with them and you, you, you'll get these options down here. And let's look at what they say. So it says based on this set of certain remember, this is calculators. This is math, right? We're trying to figure out whether or not we can get there from here. In this particular way, we're saying it kind of three different ways on the screen. Either you need to increase your investment account by $390 a month, right? That'll get you there. If you can do that, that's going to get you there. Or, Maybe you cut your retirement expenses to 66,000. Maybe that makes more sense to you. I don't know. Or maybe you have to delay uh, retirement a couple of years to get to the point where you're successfully there. So if we were to do that, let's just, you know, you can sort of see what happens. This little wheel over here says that we're short right here. It says basically our funds are going to run out basically maybe before we do. That's not comfortable. No, we, right. we, we, we don't like that. So we want to basically make sure if you look at this chart here, you'll see, you know, run up to retirement is good, but this spend down means that we might be spending this thing before, you know, this thing is, uh, before we're ready. So what do you do? You go in here and say, okay, well, let's say I do wait. Let's move this out to 67 and 67 and watch what happens to the screen. It says, hey, I could probably get there because the numbers told me I could, and I believe those numbers. And look at the difference in the, in the economics out there in future years. This means that you don't run out of money. This means you're spending down assets, but you got plenty of cushion out there when you're 90 years old in this particular case. Hey, let's say, Jim, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live to 100. Great, then slide this bar this way. You know, go all the way out to 100. Go out, I don't even know how far it goes, <laughs> to be honest with you, but there's 100. All right, so this says, eh, maybe not so much. If you're gonna plan to live on 100, we might have to do some more planning here. So that's essentially what this is telling us in these calculators. And when you look at, you know, kind of playing it back and forth, it gives you a good feel for, you know, pure numbers in and out, what, what financial planning does That's and how it interacts with retirement. Great stuff. Real quickly, we're running out of time. Do you think we could check out the, uh, is my family protected? Yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting one. This, you know, I get this question a lot. It's like, well, how much insurance should I have? I don't know. I mean, what do you have? So if you've loaded in information on your, put your assets in here and your insurances in here, life insurance we're talking about here specifically, and it says, okay, well, 
this shows like the kind of this funky chart with the assets and retirement, everything looks good. Uh, but what if something happens? That's the old what if game. Well, if Joe dies this year, Joe Sample dies, it basically, he, basically the, it, there's not enough death benefit or assets currently to take care of Jane and the kids, what they're trying to achieve. This is basically saying you're $200,000 short. So the answer would be, the quick answer is, hey, what if I added another couple hundred thousand dollars of uh, term insurance or whatever the insurance is on here, and, and look at that. And there you go. Now I'm okay. If Joe dies this year and I have a little more insurance, this tells me pretty much how much insurance I should own. So it's a kind of a nice little calculator to figure out with your specific situation loaded in it with the same assumption games that you can play. Uh, so you can change these. You can change your expenses. You can change your rate of return. That, that might show a little bit different picture. Maybe you say, hey, if Joe dies, I'd be more conservative with my money or more aggressive with my money. That might change the impact as sure. well. But that's essentially what this allows Good. you to do. I think we get the point on that. Now, let's go, let's go back to workshop real quick and take a look. I don't know if we have time to show the full uh, college, right? So there are other people on the call watching this webinar that want to know if I'm saving enough for college. So that's another feature to this financial planning software. We can create a goal, uh, choose a child. If you already put your kids in there, it already knows. You can pick a school. It's literally, you know, it'll it'll pull up every school in America for the most part, right? And uh, you, or yeah. you can just use the averages in well, state, sure. out of state. Well, here it is. Let's just do it. So here's, here's I love the name Baby Sample, baby. whatever. I named is. that baby. It's like Baby Driver, Baby Sample. I'm not sure. Where. So basically education, it, it, you pick, it's based on the child's age, you know, basically at age 18 in this case. 2025 for your education. So where do you want to go? Choose a school or put in whatever you want. And it'll basically say, let's say uh, we want to go to Harvard because everyone does or whatever. And you go ahead and load that in there. And that's an out of state because we don't live in Massachusetts. And it basically puts the numbers in as to what it costs. And then you can set up a strategy around that and say, okay, how much do I need to fund and right now, I'm terribly short. <laughs> just just, just a little fun. shy. But, you know, it gives you an idea for what to do with that. Right. Okay. All right. So that was great, Jim. Thanks. I think we're out of time. We'd like to have more time to go over this, but that's a lot to cover in 20 minutes. So uh, thank you for participating. So we covered a lot of ground, and uh, let's just summarize. You know, it's time to put this information to work. We live in a wonderful and a free country, but it's up to us to take responsibility and move forward, particularly on our personal financial wellness. So let's take some action here. Let's go and explore this financial stuff. Take a buddy with you if you need to. Have some fun. Learn a little or, or learn a lot about what you can do financially. You know, these videos and websites, I hope you enjoy. I think they're great. But if you're like me, sometimes you just want someone to talk it out with. So seek out coaching from our site, from professionals, who've been vetted to provide you with complimentary initial consultations as being part of the Go Plan 101 experience. If you've not started your planning, or even if you have, use today's video to explore the area of concentration. Make sure you understand how it impacts you. My favorite quote is, life doesn't go in a straight line. You need to stay on top of it. So consider subscribing to our newsletter or our YouTube channel. Please reach out to me if you want more help or have questions. And lastly, thank you for listening. Now, go plan and go attain your financial wellness goals. Jim Hiles signing off for today. Take care.